Five, please. Play. From 128 starters at the beginning of last week, we are down to the last eight, with the men due to take their quarterfinal bows on Wednesday afternoon. And this year's unpredictable, dramatic tournament boasts four matches to savour. Andy Murray survived a tricky fourth round test against Mikhail Yuzny, but maintained his record of not dropping a set at SW19 this year. For a place in his fifth consecutive Wimbledon semi-final, the world number two squares up against a resurgent Fernando Verdasco, the Spaniard who's reached a career-high world ranking of seven in 2010. His powers may be waning, but the 29-year-old has been in good form at the All England Club and remarkably will be the first left-handed player Murray has faced in 2013. And the winner of that tie will definitely face a Polish player because for the first time in Grand Slam history, we have an all-Polish quarter-final. The big-serving 22-year-old Jerzy Janowicz is one of the brightest young talents in the men's game, but less is known about his 31-year-old compatriot Lukas Kubot, ranked 130 in the world. This first meeting against his 6-foot, 8-inch compatriot is a tough prospect indeed. Novak Djokovic's quest to claim his second Wimbledon title faces its sternest examination so far against the formidable talents of world number six, Thomas Burdick. Djokovic, ranked almost exclusively as the world's best player since July 2011, has yet to drop a set in the tournament and leaves Burdick 13-2 in their head-to-head -head record, although the only time they've met on grass was in 2010, when Burdick won in straight sets on his way to the final here. And the second quarter final in the top half of the draw is another thriller in prospect. Spanish terrier David Ferrer takes on Argentine giant Juan Martin Del Potro. World number four Ferrer might be giving up seven inches in height and seven years of miles on the clock to Del Potro, but the 31 year old is four positions higher in the world rankings after a terrific year, including a run to the final at Roland Garros. The two met last year in the fourth round at Wimbledon, which Ferrer won in straight sets and are both bidding to reach the semi-finals for the first time. So there we go, four terrific ties in prospect as this most surprising of Wimbledon championships moves into the home straight.